Okay, turning the sprinklers on first time of the season. So these were actually set, I set these last year for winterization. I always cocked half open or half closed and these here, each of these are set like that. This is for winterization. This one's half closed and my drain valve or my outlet port that I put it is also half closed. So what we'll do is we'll close that Close. So these are closed. This is open. Open. And then that's open. And this should all be tight. So then we're going to go downstairs and turn the water on. The shut off valve for the sprinklers. Um, this is the drain valve. And I always take that off when I'm winterizing it and let it drain. Obviously, it's already drained. I look for the O-ring inside there, or the rubber. Make sure it looks pretty good, decent. Then I put this on snug, not super tight. It's now it's on. Now we go upstairs and check to see what kind of leaks we have, if any. Okay, we do notice it's best to have a helper. So that initial surge came out the top of the vacuum breaker, which is normal. And then we got some water here. But it's tight here. So you want to look for leaks. So this is initial wetness uh, was from the um, when it initially surged. And that's fine. Not concerned about that. I don't think I, I don't see any other leaking points. And that's good because that means we winterized our system correctly. Because usually what happens is water will get besides inside here and it'll crack it. Completely crack that. And then your breaker too. So you want to make sure it's properly winterized. I don't and then I put a quick disconnect here because when I had to replace my breaker and valve I have a quick disconnect. So I don't see any leaks. So now then we will try these different zones. Now we test it. It's all ready to go, all scheduled. We, I li always leave it on auto and the other one on auto all the time through the winter because um, that opens the valves so they don't freeze shut. I always put it on auto. So let's go ahead and test it. Your unit's going to be different. So we're going to hit uh, zone one, program A. So there we go. Now we're, let's go ahead and check. It's going to run for 12 minutes. Look, let's go ahead and check the zones. That's doing really well. You want to check all your sprinklers. And they're going to probably spit and pop initial. That one's good. I like it. Get a little wet here. It's okay. And that one's good too. That's the way it was last year. So. We're good here. Something off about it. Because it should be getting this area here, but that's pretty good. At least it's not broken. Zone 2 coming up. So we're going to check zone 2 next. Just do this through all your zones, and this is a test test here. This, this, this one's decent. I like it. That one's a little weak. Not bad. This one's not popping. So just help it up a little bit. And it's just a little stuck. And then the center one here is just a little stuck with goop. We got goopy in here. So I just clean this out. Of course, we get a shower when we do that. So we're good. I'm glad that those zones are popping up, and we can go ahead and uh, clean that up. You want to check your yard because if there's any dry spots, that means it's not getting watered. So zone two looks good. We're going to proceed to zone three. 
Okay, now zone three, we just push it. And this is this is my system. Yours is probably gonna be different. See here's one of zone three and that's that's the way it should be. And that's the way it was before. So we're good there. Now this one, uh, I don't know what the deal is, but it's um, probably have to change this nozzle out. But at least that's a pretty easy fix. You just unscrew here. Probably clogged up that nozzle, but but yeah, it's um, adjustable as you can see here. I'll go ahead and clean that. Check that. Get that nozzle out of there. But at least it's working. That's a pretty easy fix to clean that nozzle out. So that one's good. I'm happy. Those are looking good too. So just this one I need to clean the head out. And then I'll show you how to do that. So these are looking good. So we're going to go ahead and clear that. So it doesn't run anymore. This particular one you just click clear. And that should shut off the uh, sprinklers. And then we're going to uh, clean off that nozzle. I'll show you how to do that. So this comes out pretty easy. You can either take your fingernail or a screwdriver. And just pull it out. I always hold on to it and then unscrew here. And it just comes off. And this is the nozzle. And then I always pull that screen out and then clean that out. It looks pretty clean. It doesn't look like there's any dirt in there. Try not to get any grass in it and then just screw it back on. So that really didn't seem to make a difference. Um, so I can just replace this nozzle. I have a bunch of spares. Um, but right now I've got it adjusted. So I can just replace this nozzle so it doesn't leak here. We're going to clear it to turn it off and then we're going to replace the nozzle. So what I have here is two adjustable nozzles. Um, I think they're new or new-ish. So. We're just going to replace it with one of these and then try it out and then of course throw that one away. So I usually blow this out just by my mouth. Make sure there's no dirt. I'm holding it with one finger. And then just screw these on. Buy these by the truckload. And then I can never see the uh, coverage. That's full, I believe. Let's just try that. And then I just snug this down. Just like that. And then I'm going to throw this one away and keep the other one. So we turned it back on. And now let's go ahead and check the sprinkler to see what kind of coverage. So I, so it's good, it's not leaking, but it's also getting the neighbor's driveway. So we're going to adjust this down. Well, we're going to adjust this down. So yeah, it's not it's no longer leaking here. It's a little bit of leaking, but that's livable. And it's got good coverage here. Good coverage here. So that was a pretty easy fix. Now, again, we could probably replace that nozzle. I, I may just um, get a new nozzle or throw that old one away. Okay, now we've made our repair. Now we're just going to clear this because we're done. We fixed it. So this is going to run at the normal scheduled time. Okay, this is the old one. I think they can be re repaired. Um, basically you unscrew here and hold down. you undo is it just unscrews out so this screws all the way 
as you can see here it's kind of dirty and worn and got some could probably clean it up with some vinegar maybe so it presses and then you just screw it back in it there's a little see it's kind of open there so you kind of have to force it down there did you hear it click and then it just screws down and that's your adjustment and then this is what holds everything in place this little screw so what you could do let's take it all apart again so this looks good this is the uh, the mounting surface or the mating surface this is the little rubber seal and I don't know if, if that can be replaced or cleaned up with some vinegar I personally well I see a little I see some dirt in there so it doesn't look like that comes apart you could probably clean this with some vinegar and try it you know I hate throwing stuff away I I buy these by the case or I buy a lot of them each year because I know that um, over time it gets uh, they get old so you could probably clean this up with a vinegar rag and try it um, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I have a whole bunch of these but um, you saw how I took it apart it's pretty easy to take apart now, I do see it's dirty but I don't I don't see any like debris so it wasn't sealing correctly um, again you may be able to condition this with some a, a vinegar rag or soak it in vinegar overnight and then wipe it down with a rag really well and check on check on it and it may it may be good I just I don't have my uh, magnifiers on so I can't really tell so I'm, I'm just gonna throw this one away because these are really inexpensive again I hate wasting stuff but I know this one's bad and I don't want to throw it back in the pile okay I want to check my the, the backyard zone it's going to be the same process. This is a little bit different unit. It's going to be the very same process. Um, I'll just show you a quick overview. So I'm going to put manual. And then I think I do enter. Yeah, so it's hard to see there, but that's going to be zone one. It's very hard to see. See it blink. So now it's... Okay, so that one. I need a new uh, drip line. I need a new little drip line for that because that's going crazy. These others little good are good. This is fine. This isn't leaking. The manifold is usually leaks, but that's not leaking. So so far I just need to replace that on that one. This is the other little uh, area or zone or and this is a little bit of leak. There's a tiny little crack. That's livable. I can live with that. That's why I have this little cover over it. And this little this one's doing fine. And then I, this little drip, this little drippy's good, and that little drippy's good, and I think this other one's pretty good too. So this one checks out. That one's a little gooped up. That one's working. So this one's good. So again, this unit here, you just go clear here on this one, and that should that stops the. Uh, so now we're just going to replace that um, little dripper so what happened was this broke off you could probably super glue that in to save that but again I buy these by the case so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here piece of wire cutters here and then I've got another one from my parts bin so I got a little coupler I'm going to clean that up I'm going to cut that straight and I'm just going to couple the two ends said I have a huge parts bin by these by the well not case but I buy a lot of them just a coupler now I shove this in kind of use some force you could use you could use saliva and just kind of work it in and push I push it all the way until it until it can't go anymore kind of have to use some force you could probably use pliers but so that's good and then if you want to wet that with a little bit of water, I know it's kind of disgusting, a little bit of saliva, 
Again, I'm not a professional. So I push this in as far as it can go. There you go. Okay, same same process, but just check all the zones. So I check zone one. And then I go next, or I go enter. And again, yours is going to be different. This is an old one, about 15 years old. So I think that's zone two. So we're going to just rinse and repeat. We're just going to do the same thing. So what happened? The top blew out. I don't know if those screw in. Again, I have a whole bunch of these manifolds. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that, but I, I buy these, again, I buy a ton of these manifolds. So, um, I'm just going to unscrew this, uh, take the little hoses off, cut them, put it back on, reattach them. It's fairly self explanatory. When I'm installing stuff, I always give myself enough room. But we're just going to cut these hoses off instead of trying to save the ends. We're just going to cut them off here and then just going to unscrew this and then put some more Teflon on. So we have, we have our cutters, we have our Teflon, we have the new one. Again, I buy, I buy a ton of these because I know that this happens sometimes. So we cut all the lines. Now it's just a matter of unscrewing it. We unscrewed it, and I, I keep these little these little ends here. I keep these. Okay, then I want to remove all this old Teflon here, and put about I don't know six wraps. We remove it and then wrap it up with more Teflon, and then put the new one on. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it in the direction that it's going to tighten. And then I kind of put some force on it. So that's what we're doing here. Kind of push it a little bit so there's no stray edge. And then we've got the new one. Just screw the new one on. I put it tight. I mean, you don't have to. Maybe five, eight pounds of PSI. You don't have to really horse down on it just enough to it snug and then we'll reconnect our lines and then I think these are closed so then we open these up and then we just repeat the process for all the other zones reconnect lines clean that up reconnect the lines and then adjust it okay so I push this on as far as it can go on all the fittings push it on as far as it can go if you need to, uh, you can put a little water or maybe a tiny little bit of olive oil or something, I don't know, but I usually just push it on with a lot of force. Okay, I did want to note, you may have to twist these to get them on. Twist it to get on. And most of the time, these are uh, shut. So you can just open them up with a screwdriver here. Okay, what had happened with the old one is this whole piece broke out because this screws out I did not realize that this screws out so this is the little the little filter to clean it but the other one it just looks like it's still there the other one looks like it just broke out so um, this is a little nozzle to clean it out and it just uses a little screwdriver to undo screwed in. So yeah, these are shut. And then to open them up, you just uh, squeeze them or the other way. There you go. The other way. So they're all open now. I don't know where this piece blew off to. But again, I buy a whole bunch of these, so sad. Um, we may just have to trash that. Let's check our other system. Check the manifold. 
leaking a little bit, but that's okay. Put these on here. Probably should put more than more cups to keep it so the UV doesn't eat them up. So that one's working. This little head's working there. These should all be fine because I didn't mess with them. I didn't touch them. I just when I blew them out from there. And sometimes what happens is if these tops get loose, that's going to pop off. So you don't want to open it up all the way. Those are working good. So, pretty easy fix considering. Hopefully this was helpful. With the mower. So you just use a little plug. I'm going to cut that, turn that off obviously. Clean and cut. Just use a little plug because I don't need that line anymore. Because this thing is what it fed water. It's dead. So I clipped the line. I'm a moron. It happens. So that one's doing good. Just clean off some of this debris here. So that's perfectly fine. It's good. Tree, that one's good. One's for our grapes, that one's good. This is for another little tree, that one's good. It's for another little grapes, that one's good. Oh, there's a snake. See the snake, guys? See the snake there? There's a snake. We got a lot of snakes here. He's a little cutie. See that snake, guys? Grapes, so we got some grapes going here. So that's zone three, we're good.